Oh, hello again. It's me, Grand Boost. I just want to say, uh, welcome back to the show. You know, it's uh, the New Year. It's very good. So far, so good. We're only a couple of days in there. But um, I just want to remind everybody, uh, start the year off well. Because if you if you misbehave, I'm coming for you. I, I put you in bag, potentially eat you. This is my job. I haven't heard back from Underworld, from Resume. So maybe... You won't see me, but very likely, I come, I come eat you. I eat you good. Ta-ta! Cue it. You're about to hear the greatest show of your life! Ah, we are back. We and are better back. than ever. We things are. are so good. Things are things are ideal. Um, Rob, let's let's hop to it. As is uh, the format. You are drinking Ogo Pogo Brewing, Charlie. This is from yeah. San Gabriel, uh, California. It is a IPA, a hazy IPA. It has Idaho 7, Mosaic, and Citra hops. So in Idaho folklore, folklore? Folklore. Folklore. Um, in Sh- Idaho, it's folklore. Yeah. Uh, Charlie is the name given to a sea serpent, much like the Loch Ness Monster, that is believed by some to live in a deep alpine waters of Payette Lake near McCall, Idaho. I don't know what that has to do with the beer, but it uh, that is the story of the name, and it has. Well, I know. Uh, yeah, when I think sea monster, I think uh, Idaho. Right, me too. A lot of seas in Idaho. <laughs> it's got uh, uh, six point nine ABV, zero on the IBUs of all of all things. Um, what if it was six on the IBUs and zero on the ABVs? What would it be then? I don't know. Bad water. Yeah. Let me see. Well, let me see what so it looks sour like. Sour water. I want to do I want to do the hazy test because uh oh the actual beer itself yeah because there's um there's a lot of beers out there okay that's pretty hazy that are it's pretty hazy I'm actually getting to know hazies quite well because that's majority of what I drink yeah there's Uh, and this one this one's got a good hazy uh it's 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 a true hazy I think there's a lot of um beers that are labeled as hazy but yet they are see-through and to me, that yeah, they're very they, yeah. This is opaque. Okay, and that's what you're looking for. That's what you're looking for. Uh, something that you can't see. I, Robert, am drinking Mobcraft Brewing's uh, barrel aged Belgian quad. So this is part of the advent calendar that I bought. Uh, we were gonna do something with that opportunity to win beer for a year. Day one, I I forgot to do it, so I was automatically out of the contest. That's my fault. But I still get to enjoy the beers. Um, Theoretically, I should have drank it already, but I didn't. I'm, I'm very behind on the advent calendar. Um, it is a Belgian cell quad, as we said, aged in second use Heaven Hill bourbon barrels. 9.8 on the ABVs, zero again on the IBUs on that. Mobcraft is a great brewery. Mine has a, uh, it's uh, kind of got like that dark red. Hue yeah, guys can it. see the red in it. Yeah. Yeah. It's. I don't know. Does it the, smell like bourbon? Yes, I'm. I'm really into these, man. I'm really into the, like the barrel aged beers these days, and um, I think it's, uh, they make me sick. I've gotten into it a little bit, and beca- it's because of Josh. Because Josh has kind of turned me on to old fashions, bourbon, actual bourbon. Um, so now I'm, I'm just leaning towards the bourbon all the time. It's good shit. Old fashions are yeah. Delicious. So we'll watch out for Drew's next podcast. Uh, 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 dudes with old pod, old old co-hosts, and fancy mixed drinks. Me it's, and uh, he's, he's a sucker for long names. I know that. Like yeah. I, you ran that name by me before we started recording. I was like, why do you want to type so much in for the for the title? But you were like, no, that's my thing. Um, I've actually talked to Josh about doing episodes on this show called Bourbon Bros. 
Or we I tried, won't allow it. Or we tried different. That son of a bitch will never be on this show again. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well then, um, I'm not. You're laughing. I'm not joking. How was your beer? Is it good? I haven't had it yet. Uh, I'm too busy being angry at Josh for trying to take back his seat. He's not. Um, is mine's uh, good? This smells great, by the way. This smells. It's very. It looks good. Mine. Uh, um, pretty smelling. It's. It has the bourbon taste to it. It's got a good blend. It's got the. It's got the beer. It's got the bourbon. It's got that little bit of a burn to it. It's pretty good. I enjoy it. See, that's 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 a winter beer. I can't imagine drinking that beer where I'm at. Oh. Once again. Shot fired. I can't, I can't imagine you peasants out there in Wisconsin dealing with the elements, dealing with the winter. I'm in California you wearing money into this. I didn't I'm, say anything about peasants. So just, I'm, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm wearing, I'm wearing a sweatshirt right now because it's a brisk 55 outside. Right. Is that, is that the case, Rob? <laughs> I wore this in a jacket when I was outside. Yeah. Are you kidding? What was the temperature today? 57 what is wrong with you 57 <laughs> that is that shorts weather son and you know it you've you, 30 year over 30 years of living in a state and you you go away for like not even a full year yet and you're already just you've changed robert and a lot of the changes are very positive and i'm very proud of you but this is not one i can get behind i i demand you take that fucking sweatshirt off i demand you never put a jacket on above 55 I've got three jackets, man. I need to wear them. They're they're fashionable. Wear them when it's snowing or something. It happens from time to time in California, right? Uh, I think once once in the history of Burbank, it has snowed. Oh, really? I think so. I looked it up before I moved out here. Dang. Look at you. Make... I thought you were going to yell at me because it's the Astonishing Legends uh, sweatshirt, I... but now you found a whole new reason. I did notice that. Um, um... It's because my 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 dudes with Bruce sweatshirt is uh it's my going out sweatshirt. It's starting to it's starting to Yeah, getting a little faded. Getting a little it's cause faded. I it's cause I, you know, you, you you wear it too you know, I wear it so much. I love it so much. It's uh it is my favorite sweatshirt. Uh, the like the every I, mm. get it, get some. Everybody get I'm talk go get T public. Yep. Dudes with Bruce, uh, like uh, mm. this didn't start out as an ad, but it, it was just me bragging on my sweatshirt. But I'm telling you, the the material of it, I really like the knit of it, and the, and it's uh, it's good. Good stuff, good stuff. Well, Rob, how was your uh, Christmas post uh, our journey? Um, it was good. Did I show? Did it? Did I show you what I got? You told me about it. You got the Oculus, right? Is that what it is? Oh, oh, yeah. That's not what I'm talking about. Oh gosh, he's leaving the area. Oh, this hopefully. is what I'm talking about. Okay, you know, it's a cheesehead, everybody. So in Wisconsin, we wear cheeseheads for the Packers. You know, it's pretty warm. I, I could wear this on a, on a on a on a cold day here. It would keep me warm. It's interesting because he's wearing something that represents the state of Wisconsin, yet he's already accustomed and acting like some California floozy out there. I, you know, you can't wear that in public in 57 degree weather with a sweatshirt on. I, I won't allow that. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't wear a sweatshirt on Sundays. I wear a long sleeve tee. On 57 degree days, long sleeve tee. The wind is cool, my friend. Oh, yeah. Okay. The wind is cool. The the breeze from the ocean as it as yeah, it goes yeah. through my hair and I smell that fresh air of of California and every it's always sunny and it's always like all these attractive people and this is where people go to get famous. Oh, woe is you, Rob. Woe is you. The wind. <laughs> so how's your Christmas post? I'm going to get off this subject. Uh, uh, I got to close this window, though. Oh, my God. Um, my Christmas is okay. I didn't do anything. I was sick. So I um, was coughing all week long. Uh, it finally got a little bit better. And then today, of all days, I went on a run. And now I'm coughing like crazy afterwards. Um, I managed to get a 5K in. So I'm, I'm okay with that. Off to a, you know, new year. Same old me with the same old resolutions that I'll probably never attain. But you know what? I can try. 
I got, I got some. What, 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 what resolutions do you not attain? Well, I want to run a full marathon, and the one my friend's doing is in April, which, which is really. I, I was on a good. Fruit. Yeah, I was on a good schedule, but then I got sick. Like I got a bad cough, and then I was out for like a week, and then I got fucking influenza A, and that even amplified the cough even more. So I haven't ran in like two or three weeks. And it really yeah. messed up my schedule, but I'm gonna try. I have a, I adjusted my training plan, and I'm I'm going to try. We'll see what happens. Um, so that's one resolution I have this year is to run a full marathon. Um, we'll see, we'll see if that's possible. I'd like to lose some weight um, because I'm getting fat once again, or I am fat once again. Not even getting fat, I am fat. Um, on top, yeah. Once again, is really what you didn't need in there. <laughs> Thanks. Um, yeah. Uh, other than that, um, you know, uh, I'm also an asshole now. I don't know if you noticed that. Uh, yeah. I can't handle the cold, and I'm a fucking asshole. California's really rubbing off on you in the wrong yeah, way. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know what else. I. I mean, I was trying to think of like some like productive resolutions, not like the typical lose weight, save money, that kind of stuff. Like, yeah, you need attainable goals. Uh, I'm sorry. You look <laughs> fucking fine, man. Uh, you always look so. I'm just. I've decided to go. I'm. I'm just like. I'm done. I'm done trying to to appease your, uh, your self image, whatever it is. Uh, I'm just. I'm going with you. I'm in the passenger seat, uh, oh, in the car that you're driving off of a off of a cliff. Uh, to the in show. terms of your body image, I'd like to like. I think a, a good New Year's resolution would be. I would like to improve my Spanish speaking abilities, my ability to speak Spanish, because there's a lot of people that I interact with now who are um, not from here, who are from different countries and uh, who I, I try very hard to have communi- to have like conversations with them in Spanish. I did take it for a while in college and I was pretty good at it for for a while but then i didn't use it for you lose it yeah yeah, i I really lost the skill so i'd like to brush up on that to try to create a more inclusive environment and a more comfortable environment like you know they they're a part of the 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 community i I actually have the the same resolution we should try and say one year from today or or one year's worth of episodes from today will be entirely in spanish that'd be crazy and if, if it's, it might not make any sense because if, if neither of us attain our goal of learning Spanish better, it's just going to be us like starting out like buenos dias. Bienvenidos. Uh, soy Drew. <laughs> Como esta? Uh, Mi casa es su casa. Es la, es la podcast uh, de hermanos con cervezas on a porch. Um, so, so I drew to, to <laughs> There's no words Robert. for on a porch in Spanish. I'm sure there is, but I don't know what it is. Um. Yeah, yeah, no. So that's that's where you just throw in nonsense uh, uh, words, and we'll see. That would be a, an interesting episode where we don't even know what we're saying, or we do because we've we've met our goals uh, yeah. and learned Spanish to the point where we can hold a conversation together. I don't know that I an hour's worth of content in Spanish would be pretty hard to uh, learn, but like part of it is with Spanish, like you're gonna learn like the grammatically correct Spanish stuff, which is fine. But I like I want to like I don't know I want to like learn like how people actually speak in Spanish like I want to learn because like just like in in English everyone you know there's different phrases different ways of saying things mm-hmm. that aren't like mm-hmm. necessarily grammatically correct but that's just how people talk so I'd like to learn that um, odds are odds are I'll be in some sort of um, I, I need to apply for some additional schooling. Um, whether it's a, it will likely be another master's program, potentially an EDD, but we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what that is? Uh, 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 no, I was thinking ELL. I don't know what an EDD is. ELL? English language learner? Um, EDD is yeah. a educational. That's job. like a job that you would, you would be able to have if you got a master's in Spanish. Yes. No. Uh, EDD is a, a type of degree, is a doctorate degree, so we'll see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Master's not good enough. I forgot. Double master's not good enough. I'm not uh, a double master. Let's move on from this. Only a master's. Only a master. Yeah, but you're already talking about your second master's and now a doctorate. 
<laughs> Master Drew is not good enough. It's got to be Dr. Drew. And if you get a doctor, I swear to God, you better make people call you uh, Dr. Glazer. Uh, Dr. Drew, you probably want to stay taken. away from that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Isn't it weird, like, Dr. Well, he's then an actual doctor. Then, then, your, then your DJ name could literally be Dr. Donut. God. I get that so much from people. The donut thing. Yeah, well, it's 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 low hanging fruit, and that's my favorite. That's where I live, Drew. I live on low hanging fruit. But what anybody are, who's listening to this podcast knows. What are what are some goals that you have this year? Writing, I would imagine. Yeah, writing is definitely on the list. But that's kind of like I don't know. I don't think about things in terms of like year end goals, year start goals. Like I have daily goals, weekly goals, uh, all the time. So what's your daily goal? Um, what's a daily goal that you have this week? Every day I want to be writing. Okay. Uh, you know, and it's like, for the most part, I reach that goal. Uh, I do take two weeks off when I'm on call. Um, and in those days, my daily goals are about our reading. And, and like uh, that's when I get to consume other stuff. Fine literature. To creating. Uh, I mean, it's, it's literature and it's fine. I'm trying to, I'm reading Rob's books right now. So, okay. Uh, I, it's not, I'm not reading uh, uh, Grapes of Wrath. You don't or, want to read that uh, anyways. No. Don Quixote. Yeah, who uh, cares about that guy? The Lord of La Mancha? His little dude, buddy. That, that, that's, his little buddy uh, Sancho. That, it'd be worth reading, I think. Uh, I don't you know, know. But uh, but I'm not going to. You he tilts at windmills. That's all you need to know. It's, it's metaphorical. All right, we're good. Let's move on. Okay. Um, But, uh, you know, a lot of it's fine. Daily goals are like, okay, keep your spending under this. Keep your drinking under this. Yeah. Like... <laughs> You know, that kind of stuff. I think um, I think you need to your I like I like the daily goals, okay? That those are good things. But I think you need to and you need to up it a little bit. You need to dive in head first. This time next year, January was it second, twenty twenty four, I need to see your name in some sort of credits on my television after I've watched a movie or a television show. I need to see your name on it. Whether you're okay, that's whether, not, yeah. whether I'll, you're I'll the, take that as a goal, that's a good goal. Whether you're the boom mic operator or the director, I don't care what it is. I don't care if there was a horse and you were the shit shoveler, Sh- the shit shoveler, Robert Phillips. I'd actually that would be a great title. That would be uh, yeah. <laughs> if I could get that on my resume, I mean, I'm pretty well said. I think. Well, you might know me from my work in uh, Black Beauty. I was the uh, <laughs> the, the on set yeah. shit shoveler. I wasn't on camera. Was that on the scene? But I am. I do have the credit of shit shoveler. So yeah. Put that I on really my tried IMDb. to get that for Peaky Blinders, but I mean, it's so hard to get it, your foot in the door. <laughs> yeah. I want you. I want you to have an IMDb credit by this time next year. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm gonna write that on on my wall. Like your vision wall. No, but uh, I've got one poster in my room, and it's a, it's twelve rules to live by. One poster, you just have like yeah, just, the one poster on a, a blank it's just a wall. single poster. Yeah, it's not even on my wall; it's on my my wardrobe. What? I have I have a wardrobe. A wardrobe, like like a closet, but it's like a like a dresser. Yeah, it's an ar- an armoire. Is that, maybe that's another word for it? A, a dresser. Uh, it's not a dresser. It's where you hang your clothes hmm. and and. Uh, Think of uh, Lion Witch in the Wardrobe. Uh, you know, yeah, it's just yeah, without yeah. the magical, mystical place on the other side. I was going to ask: Is is Narnia on the other side? And I would think you I'm go, in Narnia. That's would you the... go there? No, What's Narnia that? had snow in it at the beginning. You'd be too cold, and you would be dead by now. It'd be uh, a I, that's that's the reason I've never tried to go through my wardrobe. Yeah, the snow on the other side. Oh, gosh. You're you be you're gonna be one of those people where if you ever come back to visit Wisconsin during a holiday season or a winter, you're gonna you're gonna cause a pile up on the highway because you forgot your roots. You'd be like, and you're like you're gonna develop like that that snooty like so Southern California a Valley girl accent. Like, oh my god, I slept on an ass. Um, Listen uh, to me, okay? Like, <laughs> I will never talk like that, Drew. Yeah, that's not my thing. Have you have you stumbled upon people who speak like that? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I have. And like, that's not how they. They're really, not fun. But that's not how they really talk, right? Like, it's just not. Yeah. 
How do they like? Okay, did you see? Did you see this Instagram with Ron Ron Livingston in it? Because I just saw this this morning, where he orders coffee from a Valley girl and he mimics her talking, and she's like, "Why are you talking like that?" And he's like, uh, "Why are you talking like that?" And she's like, "That's the way I talk." And he's like, "No, it's not." I just want a large coffee and, and like, and then like it devolves into him going like, you just talk that way because you want to seem like you're this, but you're not. And, da, da, da. and then at the end, she's like, you're a fucking asshole. And he's like, there, that's your voice. Now we're talking. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and it very much reminds me of the conversation we're having right now. I one time once. So when check when, it out, it's on Instagram, everybody. I'll try to find it. Uh, when we probably from a movie, a movie, I don't know. When we went, we first got Phil, we signed him up for like obedience class, right? Like we went to the, the pet store or whatever there was, <laughs> they have the training. Yeah. The pet store where you buy the trainers. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We buy them. smart. Um, yeah, that's the place. And, uh, um, the instructor, like it was like half the time it was, she was like British. Right. And then half the time she wasn't. And I was like, what are you like? What are you trying to do? Like, what are you really like? Are you really British? You know what she was? Australian. <laughs> no. Um, 100% sure of it. But it was like. Ask off. He'll tell you. <laughs> it was. Uh, um, it was weird. It was like. No, that is weird. Yeah, like, that's weird. It's like, were you like born in, overseas in the UK? And then at the age of like, I don't know, eight, you came over here. So now you have like half of a Wisconsin accent, half of a British accent. And it's just like, it's like sometimes I feel like she forgot that she was, that everybody was like, oh, you're British. And she's like, you know, oh, hey, everybody. Uh, and they're, they're just like, what? And then, you go, hey, righto. Let's, let's go tra- yeah. train your dog, you little wankers. Or whatever, whatever it is that she said. But it was, it was just really weird. And I was just like, what, like, what are you, what are you trying to do? If any, like, I don't know. Do you try I wish hide? I could do this, but I really want to say something like, "Oh, you, you betcha, I'll have a lager." <laughs> do you? Do you ever? <laughs> oh yeah, no. <laughs> do, you, do you try I don't to know hide? How to do? I don't even know how to do it, but I want I in my head. So bad it at so it. Clear. Like, I can't do. I can't do any terrible. accent. I, I. And it's like the harder I try, the worse it gets. That, this really is. I just. Uh, I need to hear the accent for for one conversation at least before I try it. Uh, I really nailed down a Texas accent for three days. <laughs> uh, I forgot. You don't. The, the you don't use it. You lose it. You know. Yeah. If you don't. If you don't uh, hear it, you uh, 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 shit the bed when you try to do it. But I mean, California, especially where you're at, is such like a, a diverse area of all the different people from all over the country, all over the world, really. All over the um, world is more accurate. Yes. There's really yeah. not like a. There, there is that California accent, but I feel like majority of the time it's just fabricated. So do you try to do you no. try, try to speak do you try to hide behind your accent? Do you try to amplify your accent? I, I never think about it, but uh Kayla said to me yesterday while I was talking to them uh that she hears the California accent starting. Oh god. Are you kidding me? Uh I don't agree. Uh, I don't agree with it. Um I don't like you know, I don't like the Robert. I don't like the way things are going. Things are so rad right now, dude. They're gnarly. They're super gnarly. Like I'm shredding the rail rail. Like, come on, dude. Like, you're shredding the what? I don't know. I'm making things up. Don't ask me to repeat them, please. <laughs> so you're you're changing the way you talk now, huh? In certain company, I you know I'm a chameleon, man. I gotta blend. Why? You gotta blend. Why? Why can't you just be? Why can't you just be non chameleon, Rob? Oh God. I already see where that the, what that just did, uh, but uh, I no I I don't actually blend, dude. I don't know. I'm always who I am. If I if I start to talk different, it's like uh, I feel like I do have a problem though. It's like when I listen to Harmontown a lot, I start to stutter. It just happens. It's not something that's conscious. It just uh, um, things I, like uh, things things manipulate my brain uh, when I identify with them. So maybe it is going to happen. Maybe, maybe you know, maybe that's why I feel cold when it's 57 degrees out. And I do. I, t- I tell the people around me, it's insane that I'm wearing a jacket right now. I'm still shivering. Uh, this used to be T-shirt weather. This is when I would go skateboarding. Shivering? Like, 
Yeah, man, You're it gets shivering? shivery out here. 57 degree weather, you are shivering? <laughs> no, okay, it's it's in no, the morning when it's You can't backpedal, like Robert. It's 39 to 45 okay. in the morning. 45 that's pushing chilly. it that's chilly i would i'll give you 30 i'll give you 39 okay i will give you that but uh i don't know man I, I, the disappointment on your face right now hurts my heart muscle the words that you're saying hurt my heart i see it i see it all over your face and then you like uh you haven't been keeping up with the bucks you just this is that's just, because of work that's not because yeah, i don't want I know. to why well, a time difference too is and it's it, that's that's the thing. Not like, the they're state literally too. playing. They're already halfway through the game by the time I get off work, let alone off the bus and home. Right. Well, and so, also it's like hard to probably watch because you're in California. There are well, if like uh, Tony's has has the option sometimes, and I found this uh, streaming thing that I can stream all games. So, oh, nice. So stream East. Nice. Uh, uh, so I have watched a few games that way, but. So I can get it on the quest too, on the meta quest. So, so Christmas otherwise, how how was it? Your your first Christmas away from home. Um, you were gifted some nice things from your family, and apparently the 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 population of California is gifting you with, uh, uh, well, you know, let's bygones be bygones. I've uh, gifted you the ability to be a little bitch. I mean, that is kind of the state <laughs> motto out here. Is it? Uh, yeah, I, it's the uh, it's the unspoken motto uh, where it's it's like I think I heard I think I know, heard the vowel accent right there. Oh Jesus! Oh wow! Uh, but that's you know it's like <laughs> oh this this person said something that offended me. Uh, so you don't oh. go up and say that to him, but you as you walk by, you roll your eyes and go, uh, uh, you know the cement has feelings too, uh, as if uh, you were stomping too. I don't know what the i'm talking about yeah. but uh no yeah it's uh there's a lot of a lot of people out here that need some thicker skin sure and uh it's so ridiculous it's funny to me like like with the where i work especially all these people have like these like oh we only we only have love we let love into our apartment like they've got these signs that are like only love inside but the second their uh, ac breaks uh, down everything it's a every everything welcome <laughs> And then you go in there, and, and or, or the, like things that are like, oh, help the help the poor, da 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 da. Uh, we, are, you know, it's like all these like, uh, you know, these mottos for trying to be a good person. And then as soon as they don't have water for an hour, they're like, uh, this is this is like Guantanamo, and it's like what? your sign is talking about uh, 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 third world countries and how we need to, you know, it's like they they don't have water for months. Uh, based on how you act, like you know, it's like, uh, but but when it happens to you, you can't can't suck it up. Also, you're being kind of, you know, it's like uh, there's there's a double standard about like going like, oh, I think about people that have problems, but I don't want to have any myself. I can't handle a, a, a stub toe, but I but I feel you know I I don't know it's it, it, it's it's not bad. You're trying to you know you're aware of bad things that are happening. But you're kind of a bitch when things happen to to you, uh, you know. I'm aware it's negative thirty in Wisconsin, but forty's a little chilly. It's actually put been your nice. jacket on. It's actually it's actually pretty nice. Uh, the last the last few days, it, currently, it is thirty one, and like we're excited about that. Earlier, I, I will say this. Okay, in terms of New Year's, like uh, New Year's resolutions. Yeah. One thing I have been thinking of lately because I don't complain a lot. You want to uh, complain more? And I noted, and I realized this because I, I started to complain a little bit at work. I got I got a little, uh, little upset. I lost my cool a couple of times because of lack of sleep and stress, and um, and I realized that 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 uh, like I would say something and go, oh man, I, I don't think I've complained like actually complained like that since I came out here. I don't want that to become a thing. Yeah. Uh, uh, so I, that is something that it's like uh, I do want to. I don't know if it's a goal or a resolution, but it's something I want to think about this year where it's like, don't let things get under your skin. You live in the place you want to live in. You're meeting and, and, and around the people you want to be around. Um, there's no, I got nothing to complain about. I really, you know, so like, I, I really don't want to be, uh, that's one thing that I do want to try and keep at the forefront of my head where it's like, 
don't complain about the little things like you're 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 lived a big picture lifestyle like uh, you're trying to get somewhere mm -hmm. and know that you're on your way so it's like uh don't you don't have to complain about this or that these little things at work you know right are you um planning on seeing family at any point this this year or anything like that yeah uh there's a reunion on the for the fourth of july up in michigan yeah this is where things get a little dicey uh uh and and this is not a complaint oh. Let's put that up there. Oh. yeah i'm not complaining uh but now i have to decide where i'm gonna go and how i'm gonna see people because it's like my parents live up in michigan now mm -hmm. so do i fly into marquette and then see like and hope and have like tell everybody hey you guys got to come up to michigan to see me um do i fly into michigan rent a car hang out in fond du lac or can i say these words do we do do people know what <laughs> have i have i dropped the bomb as to where we i don't are live, located i don't live in fond du lac yeah okay so uh where i used to live uh yeah uh fond du lac uh and and you know meet up with like the brothers and then friends and, and people that I want to see and then continue on up to uh, Michigan. I, I like, I really have to figure out the logistics of how to see people when I come back to that area. Yeah. Because then now we are, we, we are pretty spread out, you know? And then you're faced with that, that issue of like, Oh, you're, you're close, not close enough. You didn't make it around this time. So I'm not a priority. And then people, get yeah, I'm not important enough to be on your stopping list. Like, yeah but to those people i say hey i live in paradise come visit me right, right. what's your problem you know yeah yeah you you selfish ass like <laughs> yeah, <it's> all... <laughs> no i think i think you kind of get that too with um like when people move away and and come back i think there's more for whatever reason there's more pressure on like you or like my sister lives in lower michigan right so it's like, I, th I think she feels like there's more pressure on her to come back here, to come back to the stomping grounds. And then people get upset mm -hmm. when, when they don't, but it, to your regard, it's like, well, you could go, you could easily get on a plane and, and go fly to California. And why wouldn't you want to? Like, even if it was for a short weekend, it's not that long of a flight or, or something like that. I think, yeah, a lot of times when you are removed from where you once grew up, there's that just weird pressure of like you left, you need to accommodate us and, and visit us, yeah. which is, um, which you know, it's yeah. Weird. And, and honestly, it's like, if it was just a flight back and then back, like, cause I've thought about this quite a bit where it's like, uh, there's times where I could easily fly in and fly out. Yeah. I'm back and see you guys. But the real problem is like, then you get into the cost of renting a car right. and, or someone's got to uh, pick you up. You know, yeah, it, it, like there's logistics to it that that make it much more difficult than like, I mean, literally, and this is where I'm being selfish. I know, like, but it's like somebody go like somebody just takes their car that they have in Wisconsin to an airport and comes to Burbank. Mm -hmm. uh, the airport is literally a mile from my house. Like, I can walk down there and meet you, and I'll pay for the Uber over back to my place, and then we're set. You know, it's very right. easy. Yeah. Um, but I'm not, you know, it's like, I don't suggest to people, oh, you have to, it's, it's still early. I'll come back and visit. I'll find a way. It just, uh, I'd like to, I'd like I gotta to get my, I gotta, I get, I gotta get that horse shit shoveling money <laughs> rolling in. Is that a union my position? Credits. Is that, yeah, that's definitely that union, SAG. Yeah. Cause, uh, the shit actor guild. Uh, get it. Yeah. Um, get it. Cause they, 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 they put it. Yeah. They put a, they put a, they put a pound rate hashtag, oh, yeah. <laughs> hashtag 12 per day. <laughs> 12 pounds yeah i guess it would be 12 hashtag per day that's for that's for like a secretariat level movie uh, i wonder like what yeah like i mean i i feel like for 12 pounds a day you're dealing with a lot of horse a lot of horses <laughs> yeah, right? yeah I, I feel uh, like that's that's a horse racing movie that's not yeah, just one horse. like sea that's not that's not that's not a tray you and never ending story uh <laughs> You know, they brought in a scab for that position because it's it's only a half pound a day. Like, is it a tray you a puppet? I don't. So I really, you're might, shoveling. Atreyu, the, you're Atreyu's shoveling. the guy that's on the horse. What's the guy? What's the freaking? A tray is the 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 dog thing, isn't it? 
No, no, Atreyu is the guy that rides the horse. What's the oh, horse's name? I have no idea. I, I thought like uh, uh, now I feel. I thought so you were talking stupid. about like the dog puppet. Can we thing? edit all this out? Can we no. just take that, take it back? Let me do a quick Wikipedia. It's actually we'll um. Back. So like you get you get the the shoveling job for the next never ending story thing, um. But you're actually just picking up human fecal matter from the dog puppet. What's the dog's yeah. name? What you know what I'm talking about? Like the dragon dude in Atreyu? Or yeah, the in... the dream dragon. I thought that was Atreyu. Um, no, Atreyu is uh, because I just remember the scene where he's yelling, "Atreyu!" Hmm. He's on the dog. Okay. It's been a hot second since I've seen that flick. You know, there's a lot to remember in that story. It's never ending. You know, there's uh, a band know, called Atreyu. Cut us some slack. What's that? There's a band. Yeah, there's a band called yeah, and that's after that. I they're not okay. They're they're. Nah. Overrated. I never listened to him. I said, "You will not ruin a tray you for me." They got, they got. Some, I will forget his name first. They got some good songs, but uh, I don't know. No, yeah. Well, if yeah. I've heard of them, then they they must have something. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I don't know. No, the visiting thing. The visiting thing is going to be weird because it's like, you know, between just a family is going to be hard. Rob, you ever you ever stop and reflect on uh, your upbringing and um, all the time and like uh, being being now like pretty far removed to a degree from from where you grew up, from the people you've interacted with. You ever just stop and reflect and then get angry about specific things? I never get angry. No. Do you? Yeah. You sound like you you do. Yeah, that's a question of an angry man. No, I just I get angry about some some things when I think about things. Well, give me an example. What do, what do you get angry about? I don't know. We'll talk. He about looked it. around as if he can't say in front uh, of no, the no. company. She she knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, I can't I can't I can't record it right now. But uh, there will be a time where we have the conversation. Um, All right. Because oh, the person that it's or the memories I think about sometimes as of late are because somebody in my life is likely not going to be here uh, very much longer. And it just gets me thinking about a lot of things and it uh, makes me upset. And I don't know if it's a a healthy thing, a a bad thing. It's not all bad, but there's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of anger. It's a lot of anger, a lot of frustration and I've kind of been dealing with that a lot lately because it's really, we're really, uh, really close to, to losing a close family member. So, Oh, it's just weird. You know, I know from it's, nat- it's naturally little, or from dark self-inflicted uh, diseases, a disease. Yes. How does that make you reflect back and be angry as opposed to being angry at some form of man in the sky? That's like, not uh, necessarily, no, just like you think about like where you were in life, where they were, um, and I don't know, like just how I would how I would have approached a lot of things. In yeah, but yeah, that's 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 a road you gotta you can't go down. It's hard not to, in my opinion. It's hard not to. In my opinion, uh, I've seen people go down roads that self inflictedly. Not not like on purpose, but you know, made choices that were clearly. I was making choices that were clearly, yeah, uh, not in my best interest. Um, uh, and and that's those are choices that people are allowed to make. You're allowed to make those choices. Uh, it's not, it's uh, nothing like that though. It's it, yeah. I mean, and it's a different thing for this, but that's like even so, if you're talking about how things were handled, you're still talking about somebody's personal choice. Mm, yeah, I guess. I don't know. We're dancing around a subject that I, you can't. If you can't, if you can't tell me the actual facts here, then uh, I'm going to make them up, uh, much like I do uh, with every conversation I've ever had. No, nah, I'll tell you. I'll tell you later. But I don't know. Just been dealing with. Hear that, audience? You're not good enough. You, you will be one day, it. eventually. Um, uh, no, but I, when I think, when I reflect on on certain things. Uh, um, even the bad things, the things that I wish I could have, uh, the choices I wish I would have made differently or, or other people's actions that I wish wouldn't have been their actions. 
I think I've gotten pretty good at, at seeing the bright side of all those decisions and the culminations of which uh, led to me being who I am. Yeah, I've, I've had that, that same line of thinking, too, because it's like... I also have a therapist. She helps. Yeah, yeah. I very much think... Um, Oh, my computer's shutting down all of a sudden for some reason. Shutting down? It's literally shutting down. I can see it happening. What do you mean? Plug it in. It's plugged in. It says it's restarting. Would you drink or dump your beer? Drink it. I drank it. I'll drink it. It's great. I love you. Am I still here? It's still... (laughs) Yeah, you're still... you're, You're definitely frozen. Um... Oh God, he's gone. Uh, well, um, that's one way to to end an episode. Um, Rob drank. Uh, <laughs> oh, what's it called? The Ogo Pogo, or you know, Upty Dupty, whatever the heck it was called. Charlie, he said he he said he drank it. He liked it. Um, I had the the barrel aged belgian quad from modcraft carissa um rob rob's computer uh, abruptly left um so now i'm talking into the abyss you want to say anything you want to you want to come hither and and speak into the microphone and um you, th- you think i should end this podcast what do you mean like this episode no the whole show should i should i should i call it quits no i don't think so okay rob's calling me hold on hello Hold on. Yeah, you're gone. I don't know what the, why that happened. That's okay. I'm I'm finishing up the episode right now saying that I would drink my beer. You're on oh, it. Okay. You're on okay, it. Okay, good. Speakerphone. So um Rob, that's what happens sometimes when you uh download um, you know, specific type of files. Hey, I will download what I want. Uh and my computer should be happy about it. Apparently not. So uh, you're talking about cupcake recipes, right? Yeah, absolutely, cupcake recipes. Um, okay, well, we're gonna we're gonna end it here. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry about that. It's fine. <laughs>